Good morning, folks. We're watching plasma filaments dancing out of view in 304 angstroms of ionized helium. There's a lot to cover today, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star in the best way to watch it. 193 angstroms seeing ionized iron. Dark coronal holes. Bright active regions. Minor surges and pops, but silence in terms of explosive behavior. There is a brighter spot departing to the right and another cresting into view on the left. Neither appears to have noteworthy sunspots beneath them. The solar wind shows some clear evidence of at least one CME shockwave piece that arrived late to the party, still managed to be a tiny version of jarring to Earth's magnetic field, bringing the KP index up slightly, still in the green, while the electron flux really better shows the effect of the increased solar wind protons. There should be more intensified streams on the way from those coronal holes. We've got another one facing Earth today, reaching for IMF connections to the planets. There was a large earthquake overnight, relevant not only in size but in depth at more than 350 kilometers down where you don't know if that's the transition zone, low velocity zone, or the cold slab cracking between them. You might imagine that the weather continued to be a bit of an onslaught. Indeed, that is a tornado right there and while it appears the humans mostly got out of the way, there is a good bit of damage footage and photos out there online this morning. It was in fact the same hurricane wannabe storm crossing the United States and charging the East Coast right now as the Pacific brews another east dashing low nearly at the edge of the waters now. Let's begin our article coverage at the ESO, zooming way in on star forming regions in gas and molecular clouds in the disk of the Milky Way and a cosmic bat. Very well played actually. Ever see Mothman prophecies? Never mind. Alma spotting a solar system forming and it appears to be similar to our own with rings at the asteroid belt and Neptune distances. That's linked below. We also have some looks at Earth with large-scale nitrogen dioxide maps from the ESA. Another release shows the places where species are affected or unaffected by various activities. There's an interesting video delivered by Sentinel of chasm formation near the edge of the Antarctic ice sheet. Quick reminder that since it always refreezes in polar winter, breaking off that ice to cool and freshen the seas can be a dangerous game Earth plays. In the effort to better understand exoplanets, they are simulating the atmosphere of a hot Jupiter, somewhere I assure you we'd never want to go, but kudos to their efforts. MIT up next, and the goof of the day goes to a mechanism by which earthquakes thrust seafloor up into the air, which reacts with carbon dioxide, steals the carbon, and cools the planet into an ice age. First, I'll leave the mechanism of action to slaughter in today's comment section and instead focus on the fact that they were forced to try to explain the ice ages and the inundations of the sea happening at the same time. Wink. We're literally going a billion light years away here. The teacup galaxy, famous for its shape as seen in optical, now an x-ray from Chandra, and then a combined image. And when they finally added in the radio image from some millimeter scopes, they realized that they were seeing galactic outbursts, galactic superwaves. Almost hard to believe that they published it that way as a galactic blast. Last but not least, folks. Princeton Plasma Physics Lab finally catching up to where Anthony Peratt was at Los Alamos decades ago. As long as there is pressure inward on the plasma, it will form a torus, which does implicate pressure in the solar system, in the galaxy, and perhaps beyond where it's supposed to be pressureless vacuum. Website members, your last few deeper looks are tied to the Earth catastrophe cycle, a closer look at the Beringia story from 25,000 years ago, and some detailed analysis of the mechanisms to get to Chan Thomas timeline in the postlude that was just recently revealed. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.50 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.